Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. Welcome everyone to the Sloppy Joes podcast. Oh, it is me. Mexican and wave by Joe myself. Smith. Hi. Let's get on to some admin straight away. Oh wow. Make sure you subscribe to the Sloppy Joes yes. podcast. Make sure you leave a lovely like and a comment. And do you know what we could do with more ratings on Spotify and Apple? Oh, we got so we got a couple hundred. Yeah. Let's get them bumped up. Yeah, if you're listening on to the podcast on audio, Hit that rating button. Give us a five-star review. It helps us out as well massively. And also, what else you got there, Joe? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what is the... That looked really good, doesn't it? It does look really the good. The Jude Bellingham sort of celebration yeah. as I welcome Sloppy Joe's merch. For the yeah. audio listeners, I'm wearing the Christmas jumper. Yeah. Can I go get yours? It's oh. not Jude Bellingham. It's Joe's belly ham, isn't it, that we can see there? <laughs> I'm going. So, Ethan's uh, Joe's got the Christmas jumper. Ethan, you've got your little merch piece on as well, haven't you? Oh yes, I went for this black hoodie, Drew. Hey, look at that! Look at that monochrome style, black, white on black. Looks fantastic. Yeah, that. I quite stuff. like it, mate. It's quite smart, I thought, compared yeah, to the really other good. colourful ones. Quite smart compared to us uh, as people. Bang! Look at that, and the <sighs> t-shirt as well. Um, the sloppy Joe's. This is just your standard white piece, but look at that. Lovely, 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 well done t-shirt. Ooh. Thank you very much. Ooh. Ooh, and what's that? Do you know what I mean? Right, pure enough whiskey. of that. Pure Check whiskey. that out. The link is this in is the This is a Sloppy Joe's mug. Uh, go and uh, go and buy yourself some Christmas delights. Yes. They come out pretty quick as well. Still in time for Christmas, days. definitely. So go and, if you've got a Sloppy Joe's family, if it's just for yourself, check it out. And if you spend 50 quid or more, you get a free uh, bespoke video from us as well. So make sure you go and check that out. Um, uh, they were coming for Christmas as well. How are you? Good. we got we got some big stuff on the way. Yeah. Christmas Bonanza's incoming. Right. McGrath's Christmas Bonanza. Yeah. Nine out of ten. That's club. where, just so people remember, that's Teasing where it. Joe McGrath recycles last year's Christmas quiz uh, that he did at, at a pub in Wilmslow, yeah. and he gives it Whippington. to us. I'm he not gives that it posh. to us uh, as basically pretending it's new content. What um, else we got? Yeah, and uh, well, it's been a big weekend in our lives, Ethan. Oh, it's been a big week in my life and you, yours, I guess. And ours. That's where the word "our" comes into play. The other word that Joe used. Oh yes. Yeah. I'd like to. Uh, I'd <laughs> like not to ours, mine, and yours. Yes. Oh yeah, it's ours. Yeah, it is ours. Yes. Um, you've been away again. My God, doesn't he go away a lot? Honestly, you're better off, if you want to meet Ethan in the wild, you're better off looking in Barcelona and Besiktas, uh, if that's not even a place, that's a, that's a football club, uh, than you are uh, in Manchester, because the guy's never Never here, bloody man. in, Ethan. Where did you go? Ah, uh, yes. Well, I went to um, a country called Spain and a city called Barcelona. Ooh. That is a, it's a really lovely place, Barcelona, isn't it? I've never been. Busy. Busy, busy place. Should we call busy loner? Um, who, <laughs> You're a busy loner, aren't you, mate? Who's, uh, Sorry. who's in the group, Ethan? Yeah, oh, who's gone? Who's well, on the plane? The, the, the plane was full of um, me, Alan. Uh, Alan. Uh, we all love Alan, don't we? Uh, yeah. There was uh, Jack. We. Nick. We. Andy. Boo. And, and, and Kieran. Oui. Nice. So, so the men. Yeah. The, men, the men that went to, uh, where did you go? Marbella. Oh, yes. Yeah, it was the, the exact same crew. There's been some slight rotations. Obviously, we had a transfer window. We improved and we got some others in. Yeah. Some out. You but got a couple on loan. Some yeah, a couple on loan. Yeah. Um, and then we got stuck with this lot. Nice. nice. So, are you all meeting in Newcastle? Yes. Take so us through the entire trip. Oh, the entire trip. All yeah, right, just, then, Drew. But don't do it sort of... In the past, you have tended to do these stories in almost real time. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And remember that you were away for four days, so maybe just speed it up a touch. All right, well, I, I got back to Newcastle on the train, and then the next day, we went to the airport wow. early in the morning. So we got there for around 20 to 7. Oh, early. It's oh. early. It's an early yeah. start. And there we are, the boys. We meet through... The, we put our born passes in, <laughs> and then um, <laughs> we. Uh, I, I see Alan. I yes. see Alan. Yeah, see he's Alan. back. See, I see Alice. What did you say? Oh, I see Alan. Oh, sorry. And um, within, I counted no more than six seconds. Alan said, "Oh, hello, Ethan. How are you doing?" I said, "I'm very well." And he said, "I'm just 
dying for a pint. Oh, Did God. he really? He now, was last dying. holiday, I remember he, had, he was already took it into a Greg's Bacon Butty. Oh, yes, yeah. But this time it was a, a pint for breakfast for Alan. <laughs> so we, we got through, we're doing the checkout, and poor old Andy got held up, you see, because he had far too many liquids. And bizarrely, he decided to sacrifice his important medication no. in order of deodorant in a moment of panic. Anyway, Alan wasn't standing around. Alan said, I'm not waiting for him. I'm going to sit no, at the bar. Alan instantly downed all the medication. He's gone. He's, he's left the boys at security to get to the bar. Yep. Alan's there straight away. And by that point, he then orders the monster breakfast bap. And he tucks in. It fills them all up. And oh. we're, all, we're all ready to go. Right up. Yep. And then we, uh, we tread out Ryanair. Um, to Barcelona, and um, when we get there, there's a big religious parade going on. Oh wow! Behold, wow. the Mother Mary is sat on a big throne, in, on a golden throne, lofted through town with people playing music that I can only assume would please God. Yeah, 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 yeah I can well, imagine they, that. They, they must assume it pleases. It's God. Christmas time, isn't it? So it's big, big for the religious boys and girls. It is, uh, yeah. It's massive. There must be all sorts kicking about. Well, Mary, my, Mary's up the duff, isn't she? Was well, she eight months gone now? Something like that, yeah. Because, you know... Oh, bless. More. Bless, bless, She's into bless her ninth month. Was she pregnant on the statue? Certainly third trimester. Um, I don't know if she's pregnant on the statue, but it makes sense. That's probably why she was getting carried. She's getting cravings for Alan's massive bap, wasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ethan. Oh. And then um, we're rocked up. <laughs> we're in the hotel right in the centre of Barcelona. Behold, all of us. Stop saying behold. Behold. No, this, this is the new word, behold. I, we're, we're there with you. I can see it. Behold. Yeah, it's all all around me. What and is? The Barcelona. Barcelona's all around the me. The Barcelona is oh, all around me. Unbelievable. Of course. It's all around me. Wow. The great thing about most cities is they are in 360, aren't they? Yeah. Some yeah. Hey, when you go, oh, we've gone to, we've got it to Istanbul and it's 2D. I love it. I love it when uh, when you're away and the the place you're going to is just right there. It's oh, just perfect. Oh, where is it? Ah, there. Oh, there it is. Uh, uh, but Barcelona. Wash. wash. Encompasses the whole head. <laughs> there was no time to waste. Even though Jack was coming from a flight from London and was delayed by two hours, we had already booked the trip to Dam Brewery, who make Estrella beer. No, oh, quality. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. So we went there, and I'll put some pictures in, maybe, if I remember to write it down whilst yeah. talking. And uh, I must say, uh, it, it, it was a very grand building. From many years ago, the early 1900s, it, it came about. Alan must be like a pig in shit here. So Alan, first thing he does, he sees a big crate, a big damn beer crate, and uh, it's got a nozzle on it. And I'll put the picture in now. It's Alan lying on the floor, pretending to imagine. Oh, maybe, I don't want to say there's a sexual element to I it. I was going to say, you sent us that picture in the group chat, and if you look closely, you can make out a small erection on Alan. Yeah, is is that, that is the excitement? Is that because it? of just the level of how much he wanted that thing to be real? Oh, he was so excited. Yeah, um, he would be. And the man at the front who was doing the tour, he didn't really crack any jokes, no. and he didn't really let us ask any questions. But the whole trip was sixteen euros. So yeah, um, you get what you paid for. You get what you paid for, really. <laughs> oh, no, do you get any sixteen th euros each? Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? Of course well, it's 16 yeah, euros each. For what? What did you get? Did you get some ah. beers. You must have got some beers. Ah, well, well, we'll skip to the end of the tour. So you see the massive kettles and that. And yeah, that bit's guys... boring, isn't it? It's like the Guinness factory. You ever done that in Dublin? It's no. all right, but your best bit is going right to the top for a nice pint. Yeah. It is, isn't it? I've never done it. Well, that's great. <laughs> well, that's literally true. So we get there at the end, and these tables all lined up for us with all these different types of uh, damn beer. And the man's talking us through, and then Jack enters through the door. She's hey, missed all the boring big bit. Big chair. Yeah, big chair. We clapped. Um, nobody else got involved. And then we tasted all the beers. And I must say, um, I don't really find the stray that good a beer. Good. <laughs> it, I thought it was, it's all right, isn't I mean, it? It's got one that I'd slag off. Oh, it's just overrated, I felt. And I tell you what, Barcelona, the only beer they done was a stray, so I had to get it tasted for it eventually. Oh, uh, poor fucking you. I'm <laughs> making it out like it was oh, such God. a hard task. <clears throat> it's just a decent lager, isn't it, a yeah, stray? It's just a, it's just a I standard think it's all lager, right. isn't it? It's yeah, good. It, it is all right, but it's, uh, it's just, there's nicer beers out there. Next trip, the following day, the zoo. 
fucking hell. What a crazy... This I is mean, like a trip for... Well, a school trip is what it is. You're in it? Barcelona, aren't you? Why are you going to the zoo? Why? I didn't even know they had a zoo. And I must say... Oh, I, this I, was, I must say. I was, must say. Oh, behold. Behold. I must say. The zoo. Fuck me. <laughs> I was struck and... Struck and... Struck Fucking hell! I do he must say it. He was struck. I must say this word that doesn't exist. Go on. Well, um, where were you struck? I think I was um, stri- stricken. Stricken? Is that not the word? That struck. is it. At least Would you say is... I was struck. I don't know what he's trying to say. Stricken and struck aren't the same thing. What What happened? I witnessed a rape. <laughs> Man, alive. This is. Honestly. Right, keep I went talking, to, please. I'm telling oh, the man. truth. I went to the orangutan enclosure and I was having a little watch of Did Alan get in there? <laughs> no, 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 no. And he no. couldn't be stopped. No, no, no. No, no. For the... Um, uh, you got to clear this up straight away. Right. Hurry animal up, and hurry, up, and get, and get, hurry up and get to the fucking bit animal that stops this from being animal. the worst thing you've ever said, please. The orangutan just started abusing the woman one and she was biting him and telling him to get off and you wouldn't and he was, he, I think it's what you call, um, I hope you don't mind saying this, doggy style, have you? That was, yeah. was what was going on. Anyway, he was he was done what, during, the, during the act. We were all watching through the glass. Nude. And, not nude. And we realised on the other side of the glass, there's another bit of the enclosure. One of the, uh, I think the like monkeys had his face pressed up against oh. the glass and was watching. And then, and it was quite funny at this bit. And then we looked up and we realised there's another monkey hung upside down who was staring at the act as well. And they were all enjoying it. Anyway, after he was done, the man went up to the branch. The man? The man the monkey. Man, the man monkey. He, didn't mean, he doesn't mean a man. The monkey. Alan. And he just, he just went down cigar. there, grabbed his, uh, you know. Willie. Yeah, and then... No, I hate it. Eight. What? what Eight his own car. What are you talking about? Eight his um, is 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 uh, is just I think is the only word I can say. This is great. <laughs> what a crazy zoo this is in Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got to say, <laughs> that's the maddest thing anyone has ever said on any podcast. <laughs> that is. Fucking horrible. So that is the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. Can I? Can I? Can I, 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 was, I was slapping on the grass, like on the grass, and I was saying, "Stop it! Stop it!" And I, I was trying to you stop. Told it. The you told the male orangutan to stop. I tried to say stop, but he just ended up staring at me whilst he did it. <laughs> Could give you eye contact. Uh-huh. Oh That's mad. This is horrible. Now I don't know what the relationship is like between the male and the female animals in different. Species, but sometimes the the ladies don't always enjoy it, do they? <laughs> oh no, she was biting them. Right. Do you know what I mean right. by that? Do you know what I mean by that? Uh, well, like yeah. Pigeons fucking yeah, ate it. I've seen it happen with ducks before as well in the Clumber Park, and I, we, we kicked anyway, one. So, so he ate his own. Oh god. Well, I tell you what made up for it: the flamingos. <laughs> They were, they, they were, they were, they were great fun. Going from a, an animal that doesn't have a leg to stand on to an animal that only has one. That sounds like a pretty it good day, actually, like doesn't it? it? So the zoo, uh, you've been to a, um, a, a obviously the a sex brewery, uh, sex show. What's next? Oh well, what I was also going to say was um, people are probably wondering about Alan the story. He was there with a zoo pint <laughs> in his hands, which I didn't know was a thing. <laughs> you <laughs> got a pint at the zoo. You got That's min. Alan's fucked, man. Yeah, he was the only one to get a zoo pint, I think. Fuck but uh, yeah, he was. He was, was he, he just constantly pissed. Constantly on it. Is he, is he always just constantly pissed? He just loves it. He's what on holiday. He, he is on holiday. Like, he's on holiday. Right, so, you've done, you've, you've gone to, um, gone to the brewery, now you're at the zoo. Now, now, are we out doing anything in the night? Are we going out with partying? Oh, well, that's a great question, Joe. So, we ended up going to this really quite um, exciting bar, and the only reason we got enticed because the Grinch came out and grabbed us. Fucking hell. Right. This is, so part, we can, what, what we can deduce from this bar, the fact that there is a, a sort of a, a Grinch in there that comes out and grabs people, is it 
is the worst bar in the, in the world. Yeah, totally. Isn't it? Because <laughs> any bar where you get pulled in by a Grinch is shit inside, isn't well, it? Well, we went down, so the, he led you downstairs, the Grinch. And this wasn't any normal Grinch. He was off his head. What he was doing was, he, he had a, a, a bubble machine, you spread it at people's faces, and then he got, do you know the things where you get the ice, like the scoop for the ice? For the, He got that, he was throwing it over everyone, he was hoying ice at people, people getting caught in the eye. Honestly. What even is this? Where then, are you? This doesn't sound like anywhere so, I've... This, this Grinch this, is harming people. This trip sounds horrible. The so barman had to get his umbrella out to protect himself. So the, the bar was just in the corner level. with his umbrella trying to protect his face. Why is Grinch throwing ice umbrella? everywhere? I thought it was lovely weather over there. It's, it's, all, ne- it's, 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 it's never, all It's, it's, it's never rained. It's all fucking cheeky. Right, so did you stay there all night? Um, oh, yeah, well, that was a great night, that one. Um, and then went to like some lovely rooftop bar, top bars and stuff like that. Um, had some really posh and expensive drinks. Like what? Oh, like, you know, like um, a bamble dramble. <laughs> <laughs> Say that drink again. <laughs> uh, it was the Bumble Dramble. The Bumble, what the fuck is a Bumble Dramble? Was it the Bumble Dumble? I can't remember. I don't know, you know. You gotta ask us about this made up drink, a Bumble Dramble or a Bumble Dumble. Uh, I don't, we don't fucking know. Bramble, Bramble Dumble. Bramble is a drink. Yeah, Bramble Dumble. But why are you saying that? Da- what's the Dumble bit? I don't know, but it's delicious. If yeah, it was but it's a black currant flavour, kind of. Oh, yes. Yeah, that'll be a Bramble then. Bramble Dumble. Bramble Dumble. So good. Drumble Dumble. So good. Did, uh, right, so you've had a big night out. Uh, did you go to the new camp? No, for they are not playing there at the minute. They're playing at the Olympic Stadium. And yes, I did go. I went to Barcelona versus Girona. Which, did you? Yes. Oh, wow. Which was, uh, as if we didn't know this at the time, how Girona would be, but Girona was one of the best teams in Europe at the minute. Top and before league. the fixture, well, before the fixture, we were third. So it was a big game, this. It was third v fourth. And if Drew and I won, they were to go top. And we were sat right next to the ultras. And there I was, um, alcohol-free pint in hand. What did, what did Alan have? An alcohol-free pint, because you can't drink in the Spanish grounds. But don't worry, we had a few, um, uh, what they're called, uh, estrellas beforehand. And um, we were right next to the ultras who were kept behind Perspex glass. Which ultras? The Barcelona ultras. Their we, own ultras are kept behind Perspex glass. It's mad that. To separate them from the ruined fans. <laughs> mad, isn't it? That is mad. People like you, I guess, in case they spot you and realise that you're not a, a Barca fan. Mm. Well, what you, wouldn't, you. what you wouldn't realise is that it's actually more common in those crowds to have the away fans sometimes dotted across. Yeah. And there was some very brave... Um, Drona fans for, for when it was made 4-2 um, to Drona yeah. with basically the last kick of the game to seal the win they went mental and oh my goodness the, the, the ultras were banging on the perspex they were trying to clamber over they were swearing <laughs> away really I, really they were trying oh, to kill them I was pretending to be fuming with them because I was worried uh, we looked too touristy do you so, best impression of a, a Barcelona fan that's mad at a Drona yeah. fan for celebrating oh moment? well they like Banging on that, whoa, like that, like, whoa, like, puta, puta, puta. Oh, can you say that, actually? That's Spanish swearing. I think it'd be right. Yeah, but um, what is the swear word? Uh, d- it, bitch, I think. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Um, and then, um, the, the songs, interestingly, the man all the way through the game is a man with a microphone in the ultras section who's leading the chance. Mm. Barca, Barca. Barcelona, Barcelona, that kind of thing. Yeah. But you wouldn't really see any like fan chants or whatever. And he wasn't watching the game at all. So I think what, what kept him going at 4 2, considering the same chants or whatever, is that he thought it was probably 0 0. He didn't know. <laughs> no, <laughs> he had no idea what his goal was. <laughs> no. he, just, he just faces away, he chants the whole time. He hasn't seen a Barcelona game no, in 30 seen. years, that guy. What a crazy. It sounds like a great trip. Was it good? Um, oh, wow. And also, the walk up there, a beautiful oh. art gallery, a beautiful place in the stadium. It looks like a museum from the outside with carvings and that, etc. It doesn't look like your classic stadium. So, yes, it was um, a, a lovely trip, lots of booze, apart from Andy getting food poisoned and that ruining the whole trip for him and he couldn't go to the game. But apart from that, what we had a great time. Oh, we couldn't pinpoint it's it. The, well, it's, it's always the ice, isn't it? It's always the ice. It's the ah. ice that the Grinch was throwing. Is it the ice? Because free, yeah, the thing with the Grinch is he freezes the ice with tap water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, that's, how you get, that's how they get you. Um, did you see the uh, 
the, what's the, the church there that's not been done in like uh, 400 sangria. years? Sangria. Yeah, is it's that called... what it's called? The Sangria. Have you heard about this? The is guy. It, is it called sangria? the Sangria? I thought, is that not like, that's a booze, isn't it? Oh, is that a beer? Oh. No, it's a wine, isn't it? So there's, there's this. It's Sangria, it's a wine. You just. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Is it? Oh, I've yeah. got all confused. Oh, the then. sangria. I would just, I just thought you were right because you were there like two days Sa- ago. Sagrada. Sagrada. Oh, you went too yes, far off. Sorry, yes. Sagrada Basilica. We did it. From my brief knowledge, this place was was being built like four hundred years ago. I no. think it was in the 18, 1880s they started building. The it. geezer dies, done it. Yeah, and they still not to finish it. Well, no, they are finishing it. It's going to be finished in a couple of years. So really? they want to finish it yeah. by twenty twenty six, which would mark a hundred years of construction. So that's sure. too long, isn't it? Yeah, it's a hundred years. But have you ever have you seen it? Because yeah, it's, it's almost decent. it's almost done. Let's it's decent, it's isn't done. it? Um, the outside is amazing. Obviously, these big like weird like pillars, they almost look like coral. Yeah, They're like like the yeah, coral yeah, they Great do, Barrier yeah. Reef. But inside looks like a weird like the spine of like a great whale or something. Oof, do you know what I mean? It's nice that it's got a little a touch of the sort of Doctor Who's to it. Um, so, any more stories before we move on, Ethan? Oh. um... I think you've uh, had your fun with me um, now, and I must say I had my fun with Barcelona. Good. Was it better That's than, nice. where did you go last time? Marbella. Was it better than that? <sighs> well, there's a few less days there. I, I liked, I think Barcelona was prettier because of the architecture and stuff. Oh, also, sorry, I'll just whack in, Alan's caricature, have you seen this? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, I'll, I'll whack this in now. That's crazy. That, the poor guy. Look at the pint in his hand as well. Is that, that a wet is, patch as well? What is going on there? A little wet patch. Had he pissed himself, Ethan? No, but I found it quite amusing. So um, the, the guy didn't even ask Alan if he wanted like a beer put in or whatever. The guy just knew. Did he wait? Did what? Alan not have a beer on him? When no, he no, no. The, the guy just 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 knew you it was right. You can just tell he could spot it in my. <laughs> How did he That's do? crazy. So he genuinely, Alan sat down, no beer in hand, yep. and the guy just happened to draw a beer. So we're just, we're just on the streets. We walked oh past him. God. Alan got done. I was sat next to the man. And the man was drawing it along. And it was remarkable how quick he'd done it. He did it like six or seven minutes. Really? Yeah, That's how quick yeah, they yeah. are. They're clever. Well, there's only about 15 lines to draw, isn't there? Okay, well. I couldn't do it, but they're notoriously quick, aren't they? What yeah. did you think? You, you come back in 100 years like that fucking church. <laughs> <laughs> get get uh, your great-great-grandson to come back and grab this off me, will you? Well, it's uh, it's great to have you back, Ethan. It is really nice to have you back. Thank I've missed you a big time. Where's the next trip, then? Where do you think you're going to go? Oh, I think Portugal is on the horizon. Wow. You're not, you're not straight to No, it's, it's all very Spain, much of you? a muchness, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. Would you consider maybe going to Eastern Europe maybe next time? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Croatia's lovely. Yes. Um, Very cheap beer as well. Alan will love it. We had a great weekend. Yeah, we did. We became superstar DJs. Here we go. Um, we took over a place called Canvas in Manchester. But what was one of my best nights out in a, in a while? Yeah. It was, really um, it was great to see some sloppers down there, some mates down there. Yeah. Essentially, we put on a little bit of a party. And me and you, between 11 and midnight, yeah. DJed. Spinning the wheel. Smashed it. We did smash it. It was really good. Yeah, well, I took I took over a little bit because I was a bit pissed, didn't I? Well, and also it got to the point where, and th- we always knew this was going to be an issue. There was always going to be a slight a contrast of styles, wasn't there? <laughs> my my so it hit right. My in my head, the dream DJ experience. You can you can uh, tell me what you prefer. Either, either. Right, yeah, yeah. My head, the dream DJ experience. What I want when I go to a DJ is for the songs that they're playing to go. Oh fucking! I love this song. I heard this in ages, and I love it. That's what I want. I want to be reminded people of songs they don't hear all the time, but that they absolutely love. Right? You're more of they. Well, of to the... be fair, the songs I played, you don't hear all the time. No, but they're some of the most played. Listen, we played it three no, or no, four of your dance no. tunes. Yes, it went, no, it went all right. It, was it good. went well. It was Everyone good. stayed in the room. There was no, right, there yeah, was no problems, yeah. no, no issues. Uh, and they were, and my songs weren't dead obscure. They by were any good. Means. They were good. They were, were well known tunes. Good. But Joe's more of the give them what they know vibe. Like the, I the, saw the, a hungry crowd yeah. that wanted feeding. Yeah, and what did you feed him with? The YMCA. <laughs> but Joe, 
<laughs> How well did it go down? It went down pretty well. It went down. No, no, it no. went down well. It went it down did. well. And but also, Joe was slagging me off about the Pogues fairy tale in New York. No, no, no. How well did that go down? You've never seen anything like it, Ethan. Ethan right? The I crowd to... parted. They all got in a massive circle. I had to... It was like some fly no, there. By the end, by the end, I, I said we're doing fairy tale New York to play that. That was our last tune. Everyone got in a big circle. It was beautiful. It was very good. I had to, I had to be, so first of all, he was like, I want, let's get YMCA on. <laughs> and at this point, we've already got, we've already got Teenage Dirtbag on, which, oh, do you know what I mean, right? It's a great, great tune. exactly, great tune. And I said, we cannot do YMCA. It's, yeah, a, it's yeah. a step too far. And then, about, and then he was like, okay, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. And then about four songs later, he was like, right, Sweet Caroline next then. <laughs> I was like, fucking <laughs> anything but that. Yeah, so I in said, the, so then, so then he was like, right, well, you've got to pick one. I'm having one of YMCA yeah. Sweet Caroline. I was like, at least YMCA yeah, is yeah, a bit yeah, of a yeah, laugh. Yeah, yeah. So we, we went with um, YMCA instead. What was your favourite song of our set? Uh, well, I don't know. I, enjoy, I tell you what I did really enjoy. Unwritten by Natasha Bedenfield. Well, went down an absolute good. treat, didn't it? That was that Because we saw our DJ set in two halves, didn't we? We took... Capped off each half an hour with a Christmas yeah. tune. So we played lots of good indie tunes. Yeah. So um, the first half was more sort of dancing yeah, indie. Yeah, it was great. That was to sort of get people to know that we're the real deal. Yeah. And then second half was just bang after bang after bang. But the thing, it. we hardly played, we didn't really play many Arctic Monkeys or the Oasis or anything really. No, 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 no it was more your... Um, gorillas. Gorillas. Yeah, we played a little bit of... Uh, what did we start with? The Streets? The Streets. That was oh, It was good. Was cl- fit, but, fit But You Know It Even hit hard. we had them in the palm of our hand. It was fantastic and it was really good and everyone was lovely. Um, and did you get drunk that night? Oh, yeah. Were you steaming? I probably had seven or eight doubles. <sighs> doubles? Yeah. So I was qu- I was pretty pissed. Not not disastrously pissed, but I was pretty pissed. Um, but yeah, it was next day. Those nights out were good, aren't they? Where everyone was just, everyone was in a good Good place, wasn't it? Yeah, and because like, everyone's you, in good vibes, especially you, vibes. sort of knew almost everyone there because yeah, it was nice because the way that the, the the event was set up, it was you, you never worried about it being weird or shit or no, aggressive it, it or anything. Was, it, was it was lovely. lovely. It was Absolutely lovely. delicious. Um, I, I, I must say though, here. Drew, um, interesting that you copied your new podcast logo directly off Crazy Pedro's. It's nothing like Crazy Ooh, Pedro's. What's this? It? His, his logo looks just like the Crazy Pedro's it logo. It doesn't look like it. Have, have, have you been robbing? Yeah, I've not been robbing. I've not been robbing at all. Have you sought I've inspiration? I've got a guy to make that from Bangladesh, so if he knows what Crazy Pedro's is, I'll be stunned. You just sent him the Crazy Pedro's logo and said, <laughs> copy said, this. Make it a little bit cartoony, please. Yeah. And it's not, Crazy Pedro's has got a geezer on it, like a face. Yeah, it's nothing like it. Sure. Ethan please. just wants to dish it's the same out. style as Crazy Pedro's, isn't it? What style is that? It's not though, actually. I think it is. You're talking out your ass. Anyway, that's not full out. Yeah. Who's ready for McGrath's Christmas Bonanza? Duh. Nah, 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 nah. Eat. Where's my laptop? I don't know. Shit. <gasps> Got it. Right, so for <laughs> December, yeah. I am bringing last year's Christmas quiz. Wow. That, uh, if, none any of you would... if any of the questions start with, in the news this week, we know that we're in for a bit of trouble. I need you to have, like, your, you can have your phones in front of you for this. Ethan started Googling it last time. Yeah, because this one, this Christmas round, has nothing to do with, uh, like, all the answers you will know because it is a Family Fortune style round. Oh, I like Family Fortune. It is my favourite of the rounds. So here's what we're going to do. I've got yeah. four Family Fortunes Christmas style questions in okay. front of us. Great. They're all very simple. What I need you to do is I need you to think, what do you think the most popular answer was from a survey of 100 people? Just while you're talking about this, so we're going for the most popular answer, obviously. Yeah. The opposite end of this spectrum is the, is the quiz show Pointless. Yes, yeah, so you should be the least. You, you think of the most obscure answers. Yes. Right? I just need to bring this up with you. There was, it was a list of a pic, loads of pictures, and you had to pick the, the one that the least people had picked. So it'd be, and I think it was all vegetables. So yeah. there's this like weird looking cabbage that was pretty tricky and all that. Bottom right corner was a potato. Picture of a potato, yeah, standard yeah. raw potato with the, the letters P at the start and O at the end. They had to fill the blank in, right? Yeah. They asked 100 people, name that veg. Guess how many people got potato? No, how many? I mean, you, in, your, in your head, it must be 100. High. It must yeah. be 100. 97. Yeah. 82. Fuck off. 18 what people 18 saw people a picture doing? of a potato and had no fucking idea what it was, mate. Right, strap yourself so, in. You know. Right, you can write down your, your most popular answer at the top. So you, you'll you get three points if you get the most popular answer. Two points for second, only one point for third. And I'll add up all your points at the end of the round. Play along at home. 
Great. Apart from Rudolph, can you name me another reindeer? Ethan. No, no. You've got. You both can have a go. Fucking no. He, wait, you know, have... he's given his guess. Is... <laughs> he's given yeah. his guess. Ethan. Is he? No, you know, you said it. You're giving your answer. No. Is Ethan in the top three? <laughs> no. Oh, it's no points for you. My no. turn. No. He, he, he just thinks because his mum used to in. sing. You know Dasher oh, and Dancer and Pratt and Vixen, Carmen and Cupid and Donna and Ethan. Ethan. What do you recall? <laughs> no, you Here, stupid. You idiot. Twat. That's no points for you. No, so it's my guess now. Family fortunes you put in. No, you yeah, don't. But, yeah, but this isn't, this isn't the proper family fortunes. You don't want to rip it off. This is, <laughs> put right down what you think the most popular answer was when I asked 100 people, name me another Rudolph, uh, name me another reindeer apart from Rudolph. Yeah, I've got one. I've got one. I've got one. Right. Joe, tell me yours. Dasher. Ethan, tell me yours. Uh, it, it, Prancer. Prancer. <laughs> Is it's not Prancer if Prancer's number zero one. points. Hey. I can tell you in at number three with one point is Vixen. Ooh. Oh, I had Vixen. Number two with two oh. points is Comet, but in at number one with three lovely points is Dasher. Hey. Go on, Dasher. Uh, I asked a hundred people to name me a Christmas film. Oh wow! Ethan's turn to go first. Uh, I wouldn't just say Home Alone. Oh, it's a beautiful answer. It is a beautiful answer. Now, c where were these people that you asked? Uh, now, now, this is interesting you ask, isn't it? Because Ethan didn't. Ethan just, these are people from the UK that are all part of a um, a quiz, uh, like, sort of community that we okay. just, sort of, we've just bought, bought the Great. answer. Great. I'm going to say Love Actually. In at number three, with one point. Is Home Alone. Oh, that's shit. That's... I thought that would be number one. I would, yeah, if I, Ethan, one. if I had have gone first, I would have picked Home Alone. Oh. So. I mean, you can both pick the same answer. As long oh, as you write it you? down. And oh, no, I'm not, I don't want to do that. In at number two, with two points, it's a wonderful life. Oof. And in at number one, no points for you, Joe. It's Elf. Wow. Yeah. Elf. 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 There we go. Shite. Elf. And the best... Uh, here we go. So what is it? Three... I've got three. Ethan's three, got one. Three, one. Well done, Ethan. Name the best part... <laughs> No, I'll go the other way first. Name the worst part of the Christmas okay. dinner, the actual dinner itself. Okay. Is it the argument with your family? Or does it have to be an ingredient? Uh, it's more of an ingredient. Okay, Brussels sprouts. Fuck! <laughs> right, you can you can have sprouts as well. If... I want sprouts. No, you can't both have it. Yeah, I said I would have picked Home Alone, but I didn't last time because he'd already had it. It ruins the game if we both just pick the same one every time. Well, what do I pick then? All right, I have sprouts now. Right, do you want to have sprouts? Spr sprouts, listen, are like, listen. sprouts are the villain of the it Christmas goes, dinner. It goes, it goes, mash, one point. What? This is, this is it? This, this is, is the actual answer? Yeah. Mash got on there? Yeah, mash got on there. I suppose they're all pa good on there. Parsnips, well. two, sprouts, yeah. you both get a point. Right, okay. this is three, it now. Four, three points each. No shouting out. So it's minute. six to me, four to Ethan. Yeah. How many rounds have we got overall? This is the final one. Oh, what? Right, no, you've still got time to, if you pick the right answer and Joe completely gets off the ball. Ethan oh. goes first. Name the best part of the Christmas dinner. Okay. Ethan, right. you go first. Pigs and blankets. Now, if I just say pigs and blankets, I've won. Yeah, but you, it depends how you want to play the game. It could be turkey, Drew. Yeah, but if I say pigs and blankets, I get the same points as you no matter what, and I maintain my lead and win. Could be turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that because I think that's a dickhead thing to do. I'm going to say roast potatoes. Oh! <laughs> Because they're my favourite bit. In at number three, with one point, is the roast potato. Oh. So you need number one to tie. Because I'm on seven now, you're on four. You need oh, yeah. all three points to take this to a tiebreaker. In at number two. What did he say again? Pigs and blankies. blankets. With two points, is the Yorkshire pudding. Oh, my God. And Ooh. in at number one, with three lovely points, meaning I need to find a tiebreaker, is Pigs and Blankets! Whoa! Well done, Ethan. Right, let me oh, find a quick wow. time break. Talk amongst yourselves. Wow, I can't believe that. Uh, pigs in blankets, I think, are hugely overrated. Personally, my, is that your favourite bit? My stepdad makes uh, massive pigs in blankets. Of course he does. does he? Dear Dear he, yeah, he turns all the lights off before you eat them, does he? No. Yeah, he does. Oh God. The beer can slip down the blanket this year. <laughs> oh, that is so bad. Can I just can I, can I play you? I've got a list of generic. Um. Generic questions in front of me. Here. Can I can I just give you one of them? So it does. It's nothing to do with Christmas, but I've got. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> Are you ready? What questions is this gonna be? No, this is still Family Fortunes. Oh, okay. Name but, me. Okay. The most 
famous, apart from the Beatles, I should say, name me the most oh. famous British band. Fuck I asked 100 people. So this is in the same thing. Name me the most famous British band you can. 100 people who have been asked the same question. Oasis. Oh, he's done well there. Either, although, actually, I hate to say this, it's my turn to go first, isn't it? Yeah, but you... you Oasis. Go first. Oasis. I'm going to say Oasis. No, I've said Oasis. You, uh, we can't hear you because you, it's your go to go second. Oasis. Oasis. All right, no. take that. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Ethan Jim. <laughs> Do you really want to go with take that? No, I want to go with Oasis. Do you want? You can find a better answer than Oasis. Is Oasis number one? Oasis is in there. Right, So, but it's not number one. Not number one. Okay, I'll go second then. This is hard, you know. Right. I'll go with the right, Oasis. Right, right, right. Yeah, we know you're going with Oasis. Stop saying Oasis. One Direction. You're not going to believe this. What? They're both third. <laughs> Oasis and One Direction are both third. It wow. goes Rolling Stones oh, in at number two. And Queen. Right, so we need another one. tiebreaker. This is in unbelievable. This is like one. the Europa League final with Man United taking 11 penalties. Give me one more one minute. Let me see Oasis, what was... Oh, I can't believe you. that. One Direction and Oasis tied. We should have thought of Queen and Rolling Stones, shouldn't we? Yeah, I, I, I was just thinking of Oasis, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, I know. You kept saying it. You keep saying Oasis. Here we go. Almost oh, do you mind if it's still... Oh. Do you mind if it's still... Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. Yeah! Name me, and you write this down. If you shout out, I'll bat you. Name me a capital city apart from London. Okay, can I go first this time? Right, have you written it down? I want to see you Who, writing it and down. You've asked the Brits. Yeah. Okay, can I go first? Yeah. Paris. Fuck! <laughs> I want to Paris. <laughs> what do you want to go for? Oh, it's a disaster. You had your big band last time. Yeah, you, got, all, you got to have a way. It's all it's over. It's <laughs> It's all Why over. It's pretty much all over. There's no point, is there? Oh, I know what you should say here. Yeah. I'll know the answer. I think I know what you should say here. Yeah. Can I? Can't tell you. What are you going to go for? You can still... You Come know. on, Ethan. Washington, D.C. Fuck off, he's gone Washington, D.C. <laughs> Fucking thick What are you bastard. doing? Right, in at number three with uh, one point is Madrid. Yeah. In at number two with two points is Dublin. Yeah. In at number three with... Oh, in at number, number one. one with all three points is Paddy. Yay! Scandal. Great game. Lovely well game. Played. Well done, everyone. Oh, my days. Oh my God, this game's working me up appetite. It's nice. Oh, I'm... Christmas Bonanza will return. Gaga, I'm hungry. <laughs> that needs to oh, I stop. need some food. No, please. no, you such a. Oh, I'm bit. so hungry. Let's eat. Right, Joe, mm. cast your mind back to what was a devastating last Tuesday. It was one of the most devastating blows I've ever had, and I've been <laughs> blown. More times than I care to mention. And this was Devastatang. Uh, Ethan James, for those who don't know, gets the same thing to eat every record day yeah. that he has done for the last, I'd say, six months. How long, Ethan? Do you have to say this is a tradition? Oh, yeah. Six months would be reasonable, I would say. Yeah, a long time. It smells delicious, and it is a uh, Caribbean box for, filled with rice, oh. coleslaw, chicken. Jerk and, chicken. And we've been asking Joe, I mean, how... How much Ever despair. since he started getting it, I was like, bring it in for the 9 out of 10 club. He yeah. has it all the time. Last week, we said, go get it. He said he go didn't have it. time. Then he went and had it by himself. Yes. They, now that actually is, when you say it out loud, Sackable disgraceful. Offense. Sackable offence. It really is. But he yeah. survived by the skin of his teeth. Well, he did you know what he did? He, he did the right thing. He left the country. He went he to did, Barcelona. Went to and Barcelona. And so, so we couldn't get to him. We were banging on his door, weren't we? Yeah. It was unbelievable. We were frothing at the mouth. <laughs> frothing at, you were frothing at the arse like a prized baboon. And we were at his door. Did they froth at the arse? No, nah, but they sort of chub up, don't they, back door. Chub up. Back door. Christ. Um, we chubbing up all my life. But luckily, he was in uh, Catalonia, and we couldn't get to him. Now, he's back. He returns. And you better have some fucking Jamaican food for me to scoff in my old Ethan, or God be my witness, you are getting cut in half. Well, 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 well. I did say I was on the 9 out of 10 club duty today. Mm -hmm. And indeed, I have brought in Rita Rain. Oh! We've got the works. Talk us through it, Ethan, because you finally delivered 
You finally brought it in. Talk us through where it is, who it is, and what they've given us today. Okay, so Rita Rains, you can find it on Market Street in uh, Manchester. So they've got like little stalls uh, uh, along the bit. And the queues are the biggest always for Rita Rains. Why? Because it's the, it's the best food in Market Street in that sense. So what we have in front of us, and if you don't mind Joe Smith holding it up for the camera, we've got oh, some, I've, I've specifically picked out the... Uh, Rice and peas. You can get jerk off rice, but I went for the rice and peas. You've got some jerk chicken in there, covered with the jerk sauce. And on top of that, you've got the coleslaw, the salad, and the plantain, which is like a banana, like a sweet banana. So, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's, 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 yeah. Well, it's, it's its own a, thing, it's isn't it? It's actually a less sweet banana, yeah. isn't it, if we're honest? So here's what's going to happen. Yeah. We're going to dive in. But what else have they given us here, sorry? That's your usual box. Mm. But what, what are these other things I'm seeing here? I'm seeing some sort of patty. Dumpling. Extra, extra plantain and a dumpling. Oh, the dumplings are phenomenal. So let's Dumplings are them. essentially fried bread, Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Let's get straight into There's going to be a dramatic cut because we're absolutely going to scram the life out of this. Let's taste it Will first. We, let's get really? Initial, yeah, let's just let's hit it with. They want to see that first MP. Do they? Know. MP. What does MP for mean? First mouth mouthpiece. Mouth, mouthpiece. Get your mouthpiece out. I'm going for a little bit of chicken. Oh, mm. oh it's all there, isn't it? Good stuff, oh isn't it? Oh my god, it's all there, Ethan. Ethan. Right, let's go. Right, sloppers. Oh. Nothing has happened in your world, <laughs> but in our world, everything's happened. We've just demolished Rita Reigns. We got right up in there, didn't we? We saw it all. Rita Reigns Supreme. And we went to town, boys. Jesus Christ. I've ate too much too quick. Yeah. I'm slightly flagging, <clears throat> but what a great bit of food. <laughs> Amazing. I, I can understand why Ethan oh. sees it as a nice midweek treat. Yeah, that'll get you. That'll keep you full until Saturday, that will. Yeah, especially you know I mean? Ethan, there's nothing, more, there's nothing of him. No, that is a meal. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, you're not like, oh, sometimes on this show we bring in, oh, what's this, a jalapeno popper, uh, a, you know, a little chocolate bar, a mm. this, a that, a snack, a bit, a bob. That is the, the rice and peas, the coleslaw, the salad, the plantain, the, the jerk chicken with extra jerk sauce. That is a full-blown meal. It is. That has taken my mind and body for an absolute walk around and the block. And every line. single item all helps one another. Delicious. You've got obviously the lovely uh, salty herby chicken that is just, oh, those little bites of what I think is chicken thigh. Thigh meat. Gotta be thigh meat. Gotta be thigh meat. It's a bit more succulent. Uh, then you've got the lovely rice, and I love when rice isn't just, do you know what I ate? Uh, just boiled rice. I'm, gen do you across wanna, the board, do you slap me in the face. Sick of rice, right? I, I hate know, it. I, I think rice is gonna have its day soon. I'm sick of it. But this, That's there's enough thing. going on there yeah. that it's enjoyable just by itself. You can have a little rice of just needs the rice. to be cooked with anything but just boiling water. Yeah. I cooked it the other day with a chicken stock and a lump of butter. I know they passed out. It was that good. Anyway, that rice is phenomenal. <laughs> when you say lump, Oof. block. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Didn't tell Becky. Oh, yeah. I don't, know, I don't know why it's so good today. Look at that. Yeah, it's lovely. I'm going to try this recipe again. You can spread um, this rice on toast. The That's plantain, like although I think you've ate all my plantain. I didn't get any plantain. Did you got some in the box? No. What? I didn't get any plantain in my box, Ethan. You what? Did you get some? I, I, I got, I had one. Yeah, it was lovely. I had about six pieces. Damn. No! I you're going to have to do a plantain review. But it was delicious. Always is. And I think my, my one of my highlights is the dirty dumpling. Is it? Because essentially what they do is they get a lovely dough, uh, dough ball and they deep fry it. Yeah. So the outside is crispy. Would, it, would that be a way you'd like to go? Would you like to be dumplinged to death? Like if, if, if let's consider you, and I just mean for the terms of imagery, a, a, a dirty dough ball, right? If you were to be deep fried, could you see that as a sort of Viking funeral? Do you know how they push them off on the boat and set it on fire? Uh, yeah. Said, and maybe after you've died, actually. I thought, we, yeah. We give you yeah. A, a traditional deep fried funeral and we just lower you into a vat of hot grease. Would Is that, that be a or, way to go? Or, or how do they cook duck in a duck uh, Oh, you want to get, you want to be confied? I'll be confied. Yeah, let's confied, the, confied this man. You know what, actually, confied him. I'd love confied to say that. him and then everyone can have a little bit at the end. That'd be nice. Uh, I think, I think the, the, the writing's on the wall here for Rita Reigns. Go on, Ethan, talk us through it then, because you're the, you're the real uh, man about town when it comes to, to Rita Reigns. Yeah, so they kindly threw in some extras for us, which was like you mentioned, the, the dumpling, the plantain, and uh, a patty as well, um, <laughs> which, which I've, I've not had before. But I must say, I'm, I'm usually 
not a massive like kind of pastry man. You said you said I think it was I believe on the last podcast that you effing hate pastry, so this is going to be good. But obviously, I do like a Greg's, right? Because of the filling, oh, yeah. and it's this exact same scenario again where the filling shines through. And do you know what surprised me? I actually like the pastry on this. It seems a little bit I don't disingenuous. Know. Can I say that we've done pates on the? Nine out of ten before they got in. Yeah, because they're fantastic. You've had one of these before, Ethan. Oh well, maybe it's that you kind of pastry I like. Well, because I tell you what's good about these uh, the the, pat- uh, the pastry on the pastry on the patties is it's different. Yes, isn't it? it's flaky in a different way. There's more flavours to it. Yes. I believe. Mm. Isn't it? Do you know it's, what I mean? It's got some sort of seasonings to it. Hasn't Definitely. It? It's a different colour. Mm-hmm. First of all, it's more yellow than your traditional English white pastry. pastry. Yeah, it's uh, less sickly. Yeah. So yeah, I suppose. I don't know. I can't have many of them. Like those dump, that dumpling, like it's delicious. But oof, yeah, oof. how many of them could you have? Hundred, <laughs> four hundred. I'd love to throw one. Great shape to throw, but I'll be too busy bloody eating it. There's so, what are you saying then, Joe? Olympics next year. Ethan, you start off then. Is this is this nine out of ten for you? So to break it down for me, the jerk chicken. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> the 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 rice and peas is oh. what I went for over the churl off rice and that churl. lovely softness of the peas really gives you a different softness <laughs> of the peas <laughs> what in the silence of the lambs is the softness of the peas also I think I think it's beans isn't it rice and beans well I think it's called peas isn't it but is it called peas but it's beans isn't it that was beans that was beans I think I meant beans then <laughs> the softness of the peas are the green thing I didn't get a pea in mine did you no I got a bean it was delicious I love beans the beans were great. Stop eating. And oh. sorry, I can you went to pick and up now I know how Becky feels. Jesus Christ! No, that's how I feel. And Becky shouting. The cool. star of the show. Well, it's not quite the star of the show, but something that I love is the coleslaw. I think it's some of the best coleslaw I've ever had. Coleslaw, it's fantastic. Is so delicious. It's purple. Yeah. So obviously it's pleasing on the eye because you've got so much going on, and then you've got this brightness of the purple uh, coleslaw just mm. poking its way through. Hello. And the salad is good as well. well I, mean, I don't mean the salad. The salad itself is a relatively basic salad, but the, just the addition of it, the yeah. freshness, the lightness, compared to the quite <coughs> intense, like yeah. richness of the rice and the and the chicken. And I think Excellent. I think as well, just because if you if you're around the UK and you're like, oh well, I'm not going to be able to try this. I think if you can find your best. Caribbean spot near you. Yeah. They will do a dish like this. Yeah, especially if you live uh, from work stuff, I don't think you're getting Caribbean food. But if yeah. you live near a city yeah. or a big town or obviously anywhere and that's you've got never a, tried a, it. There'll be many people who have tried it and yeah. know what we're talking about. Yeah. Go and get those flavours together. It's just fucking fantastic. Big it's soul, so good. Um, yeah, but it's, but it's if you're from good. Manchester, Drew, I think you've got to go to Rita Rains. And for me, it's an all round nine out of ten. Uh, yes, it is a brilliant nine out of ten for me as well. I suppose we've got to ask the question, haven't we? Is it nine out of ten? You... Yeah, probably. Yeah, is. probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's genuinely fantastic, and oh. it's just, it's, just, it's a, like I said, a type of food that I already love. Yeah, done very well. Done so, very well. Thank you very much. Well done, Rita. Right then, uh, there's well only done, one Ethan. final thing to end the episode on, and it is getting yourself some sloppy joes merch. You've got you got the Christmas edition there. You've got a Christmas edition. Uh, Ethan, what edition have you got? Oh, I've got <laughs> this edition. The black one. Love that. I like that. White and black. Yeah. That's very good. Very Little hoodie smart. piece, isn't it? Yes, hoodie Yours piece. Yours is just a standard jumper. There's all sorts. There's t-shirts. There's different colour hoodies, different colour jumpers. Obviously, that's the Christmas edition. There's a little muggy on there as well. Yeah, there's get all the sorts. Make well, sure you go and check it out. I mean, this is just the first drop as well. We'll be working on other stuff. Oh, yeah. We we've got Coming up in the uh, uh, bank holiday sales, not bank holiday, what's it called? Boxing, Boxing Day sales. I've got a new little launch I'm working on. Nice. Very exciting indeed. Very exciting. Oh, and if you get your piece, is that what you call it? Yeah. Take a picture, drop us a tag on Instagram or Twitter, and we will share them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Thank make you, sure Ethan. you subscribe to the Sloppy Joes. Well, thanks for finally bringing that in, Ethan. You oh, that's quite all right. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Ladies, one. Yes, ta everyone.